So guys, what's good? What's good? Um, Kel Brook. I want to talk about Kel Brook. Kel Brook says that Amir Khan's not a credible opponent anymore. Or he, he, he had a dig at um, Khan. Uh, basically, we know that the Canelo Jacobs fight got announced and he was like, wow, uh, it's good to see a credible, a two credible opponents going against each other. And obviously he was taking a dig at Amir Khan. Um, it was probably in response to Khan's IFL interview that he said, you know, where he kind of dismissed Brooks' chances against Jarrett Heard. So, I only just want to talk about that, to be, uh, to be honest. Like, I think, listen, I think these two are going to keep, you know, going back and forth with one another. Uh, but I think the public now has got is kind of over that. They don't want to hear that, you know, they, they don't really want to hear them going back and forth. I think the thing is with Amir Khan, he hates talking about Kell Brook, but he mentioned to Coogan Cassius, um, I felt, you know, he mentioned that on IFL TV, another interview just about Kel Brook. He was kind of slamming Coogan for his questions just based around Kel Brook. Um, whereas I, I think Kel Brook, on the other hand, although he says he hates it, I think he cherishes talking about Khan. I think he loves it. Um, for him to say Khan's not a credible opponent for Terence Crawford, um, I just think I, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. I've never, I've not agreed with anyone, but obviously a lot of people are saying that Khan's gonna get smoked. I don't agree with that. I think it's a very good fight. Uh, but, Kel, you know, Kel Brook's obviously going to... He's obviously going to want to put Khan down. And uh, to be honest, I don't know if Khan ends up winning this fight. Can you imagine what how Kel Brook would feel? Like, Kel Brook would want to jump off a cliff if, if he ends up winning this fight. Because I, I don't think if Kel Brook was to do good things, Khan would really care. Because Khan's got such a big name where... He he can he doesn't really care about Kel Brook because he's a massive draw on his massive name on his own not just in boxing but out of boxing whereas Kel Brook's not so if Khan was to get gain more fame by beating someone like Crawford that would completely kill Kel Brook. Kel Brook's always wanted to fight Khan because Khan's because of Khan's big name because of he knows the fact that Khan people still rate Khan a lot higher than him. Um, Although he might think he's better or whatever, people inside people, most people rate Khan a lot higher than they rate Kel Brook and what Khan's achieved in his career. So what Kel Brook's trying to do is beat Khan and trying to get everything that Khan's achieved in his career because he knows that he isn't going to be able to build the resume that Khan's built. He just can't. He's too old and he's and 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 the fights that he's had with Golovkin and um, Spence have ruined him. They've completely worn him out. Uh, you know, broke his eye sockets and he's not the fighter because of, of what happened in those fights. Whereas Khan, so it's going to be difficult for him to build a legacy like Khan has with some of the big names that he's beat. Kel Brook can just talk about it. Oh, yeah, I would have beaten the guys, Khan. But you can't say that. When you're fighting guys like the fighters that Khan have fought, you can't say, I would have beaten those guys. That You can't really say that because I think Madonna would have given him hell. I think Zab Judah would have given him hell. I think Paulie Malinaji, when Paulie Malinaji fought Khan, could have given Kel Brook hell. So I just think that obviously it's easy saying all these things, but he hasn't really proved it. You know, he went in there just with one fight his whole career, Sean Porter, and he won that fight in a close decision. Um, there was many people that didn't think he won that fight. But, you know, I thought he deserved the benefit of the doubt. But the thing, what I'm trying to say is that that's his only win. You know, that's not really credible when you've just won one. Like Darren Barker won a world title against Daniel Gill. You know, he, he, there's no career there. He's beat, beat up on guys that really, if you go down his resume, there's no one he's really beat apart from Porter. And the three top guys he's fought, he fought Porter, Golovkin and Spence. He lost two of them in, and he got knocked out by two of them. So it is what it is. Um, and I just think, you know, Kel, Kel Brook needs to look at his own career before he, you know, puts down Khan, you know, because he really... His career has not been credible. He's he's scraped a world title win, and after that, he's just fought uh, no hopers. You know his his whole resume is fairly poor. You know to go in there against Golovkin and Spence. Fair enough, I'll give him a pass on Golovkin, but against Spence, he should be winning that fight if he's as good as what he says. And he got beat quite convincingly, and then he blamed the weight. You know, and then he then he now he's talking about coming down to one four seven. He said to Spence, "Come up at one five four and fight me." And then he's now he's saying, oh, I'm going back down to 147. So he's a bit confused. And there's a lot of excuses um, excuses being made, in, in, you know, uh, about Kell Brook's career. Um, but that's what I, I take on it. I just think Kell Brook really can't really talk because really, if you look at his career, it's not it's not been that great, is it? You know, he's not really fought many top level guys and he's fought three. 
uh, beat Porter, very close decision, and lost two, the two others. So that is what it is. So, you know, you guys can make a judgment. Leave your thoughts uh, about Kell Brook's career, about him taking putting down Amir Khan. Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.